ability to dribble, get past players, and the amount of goals that she scored in football for South Africa. I still feel I'm, I'm holding the best record ever in football. She's got so much history that she's carrying with her. And Leanne Injai came, if I may put it that way. Injai came, Leanne. Good afternoon and welcome, Zanzi. SABC Sport brings you a Tadiski on SABC One. In case you're joining us for the first time, this is a show of the legends, for the legends, by the legends. My name is Patko Mafani Slapage, a loftus first felt in Amplange. I'm going to win the stadium. I'm going to win the trophies and medals in the stadium. I'm going to win the stadium. I'm going to win the stadium. Having said that, join us. Look at tweet here. I'm going to Facebook and Instagram about what you think we should be doing and which legends you think you want on the show. I'm going to win the legends. I'm going to win the stadium. I'm going to win the stadium. Bogazana, in Bogoto, I would try Banyana Banyana is known to insate, singling out Desri Ellis or Veronica Pewa. But I'm trying to go for Shiamu Dise, who Bashin, nicknamed Yaka if Manaka like Bashin Matlango. We carry a Yaka 15 years a bullying, a quarter more than a hundred goals. Ubona Galicile, who Porsia, who Tando Loa Kele Pola, who look a cool. And uh, the sports star of the year, 2014. I think it's the way she treats herself and like, the way she respects the game, I think. Because it's like, uh, to her, it's like, you know, when you take something like a metal off, like, when that, like, yeah. To hear that's that's uh, that's the passion that that's like the passion that she has for soccer and so. I think it's the way she played. You know, being the first female to be recognized in football, which is a big thing because foot girls don't get recognition when it comes to football. I'll take her strength, her ability to phase off defenders, fight them off, and also her ability to work with the team. It's key, Ganas. The passing yeah, and Anna, you know. Interesting this way, and that gets faster. One lady and makes the two girls easily. We bullied and yeah, 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 for her to choose such a sport and actually do well in it is an inspiration by itself. So she's truly a legend by that. For sure, this is to spend the blind. The spending the money for not is a retirement legend. I was born in city Jawabu, but he Emma nine, <laughs> Emma seven, and I say my nine, I pick hands. Um, of course, I learned to understand, you know, it's a hang around and have fun, Lalipola. Then I, I grew up playing football with boys, and the car they didn't really understand the posture, but. I think when Porsche started to understand herself, I think the family I can started to understand. I remember when I I asked for soccer boots, I told my mom, "Guti, if you want soccer boots, my mom couldn't understand. Guti, if you soccer boots, if you want soccer boots." Then I was like, "Isn't those on the ground? Because without zone, I was on the ground." My mom was like, yeah, I'm going to go to my mom's soccer, but I'm going to sit in my own But they come to their senses and they bought me, they was to put me a bit of a wing. When they put me a bit of a wing, I'm going to wing. So they started buying me those soccer boots and I think life started to be easy because I could handle the ball very well with soccer boots. Then I started to take my career very serious afterwards. I I think my first team when I started playing like uh, serious football, playing in the field, I was playing for a Rangers boys. 
and for me it was overwhelming because many things I was the only woman there and many things I am a gentle and cooler now they really accepted me and they never gave me any difficulties instead they were always supportive which many things I came in they will always come a car I was often able to approach I was a people in which is short thing out today so I I feel good with their support also it made me the person anywhere today. Growing up as a female, playing in the male-dominated sport was not easy. But it also gave Portia the edge over her female counterparts, as her game became much stronger. So it took me time to adjust. Good, there are other girls about Lalipol. I felt good about some kids cards. You sent to Lalipol first, sent to Rama Chancy. Men kawa ngamantom baza na, cause I always have sisters in Kaya. Men ba kawa ngamabo amo sisba. I'm thinking, but Lalipol, I was on kids this card. But they invited me. Then in one of their games, I went and watched. Then I felt good. Ah man, I was cheering for Zuk Lalipol. I was pilong ala melingi Zuk Lalipol. Then I started to sign again. So actually, the Cosmos ladies. Then I played for the Cosmos ladies. Pasha pupu, pasha pupu, pash pash, pasha pash. I like how I call her. You know. Yes, you had right. Opashin, your nickname, Kaposia, at your name, Gwanga Batandi, be born and get in the last Zalanga, young at your Albert Pashin Matlangu. I mean, we saw my taspin, son. I want to make it. I want to move the Langina or push it taspin anyway. I mean, we saw my taspin. I guess, I guess it it comes from. Uh, the legend to Pasha Pasha. He used to play for Orlando Pirates and they make a double man net. So I mean, I'm going to go spin. They felt good. Okay, you pass it, no man net, no pass it. It could be one thing. I had to go to Kamalaga Pasha Pasha. I was going to go to Kamalaga Pasha Pasha. Tatanga Klesha Lide. Wabe Uposhia sele promoted to the senior national team where she scored her first goal in a major competition alongside some of the greatest female footballers to come out of Mzanti. Yeah, I think uh, we're playing uh, Fosloras. We are hosting the Africa Cup of Nations. Um, I, I, I don't remember the team we were playing, uh, we were playing against, but I remember my first goal. It was from the playing, uh, hosting the Africa Cup of Nations. I used to play with Veronica Pewa, with Desiree Elisi, with Figueres Chole, with Sbongle Kumalo, with Cabo Zita, with Joanne Solomon, with Spiwe, with Sisteri. Um, I was small, I was creepy, like there, there were, it's, it was many of them and for, for me I always feel honoured to be part of that squad because I feel that that was a squad that was full of talented uh, players and it's so unfortunate with that time women's football was, was not supported like now and I, I always feel good. I wish other players they got an opportunity to play with those big players so they, 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 they could have a better vision of about foot, women's football and, and learn more and know the history of women's football. Gutinabo, when they play today, they understand where women's football coming from with their struggles. Welcome back as SABC Sport brings you this fascinating story of Portia Modese here on A Tadiski on SABC One. Well, Portia didn't fly the South African flag in Africa only, but she did that around the world. From the day that Portia Mudisa joined Banyana Banyana, she never looked back representing the country with pride and scoring goals after goals. We carry a Yake national team. Yone Tabatimi Yakeli Shumenes Thanu, Udale Amakeli, a hundred and twenty four, and Kleba Ijezia Banyana Banyana. I could say when I used to play for Isoch ladies or Super Falcons ladies or Crusaders ladies. When I go to matches, especially with this league that we're playing in, I will score 10 goals, I will score 15 goals, I will score 18 goals in one match. You know, then probably in the league, I will, I will end up in the league. In the league, maybe I have 60 something goals, 70 something goals each and every season in the league. 
Then in the national team, I always felt to I want to leave that mark. I want to be remembered. You know, I played with senior players that I, when I started to play for Ibanyana Banyana that I found them there. And when I look at them individual, I'm like, what is it that they were special about them, you know? And uh, I didn't see anything that was special about them. And I felt good. I don't want to be that player. I don't want to be that player when I leave the field. No one will forget. Everyone will forget about me. They will stop talking about me. I felt good. Each and every game, I need to score as much as I can. I make me like even greedy. I need to be selfish. But be be part of the team while I'm trying to be greedy. Sometimes when I'm a striker, you're greedy. But you, you need to know how to combine it with your teammates and, and work together as a team. Italente ka poshia ubashin lo ya inkulu ka cool ukuba wa unogu ivale la pemzanta Afrika kupela. Jengo kukuba wabango waka la kuba zali basa mzanta Afrika ba bingle yukuba amenywe ayo zala peshia kuluante. I think, I think my first trip uh, going overseas I was going to play for Arsenal ladies. But then, also, when, when we got there, I think we were, we were such a good players, but we still had more to learn because it was four of us going there. And we, we, our difficulties was like, it, it was not like boys, when you, when you get a team overseas, they, they tell you about your salary, they give you a place to stay. With women, it's totally different. For us, when we got there, it was like they're giving us a place to stay, but you're going to get paid in South Africa, but I'm playing for Arsenal. For me, I was like, what is this? Uh, they can't play. They can't pay me in South Africa. I need to go home. <laughs> then that's when I left. When, when, that's when I left the, the Arsenal. But then I had a belief because I'm still young and I'm, I'm good with what I'm doing. And uh, I have a hope because one day I'll get another offer overseas. And I did get an offer when I was playing for Fortuna Ewering in Denmark. Then I, I, I went for trials, then they give me two years contract. But in that two years contract, I realized which I still have a lot of work to, 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 to do and to learn in this team. Because their development, their structure of the development is very tight, it's very good. Then I realized which team, me now I'm good with my basic, but I need to learn their way of playing. Then they started to playing me in the development in, in the second team. Almost a year playing in the second team. Never play with the first team, but I've signed with the first team. But for me, I never give up because I felt good. I want to learn. I want to go back home and contribute. I'm not going to come here and being a failure. So I stayed that year training and learning. Then after that year, we, le we, we, lo we lost a left winger. Then the gap was open. Then the coach was like, I know you are a striker, but try this position. I played once. I scored goals. Then the coach was like, this is your position. For me, I felt good. I was hungry, and I, I I waited for that opportunity. I've trained for almost a year, being in this country, and that time is so racist. And now show, man, now female. I felt good. I need to make it worth it. I need to make it work, cause I can't come for from South Africa all the way and come here and being a failure. So when the coach gave me that opportunity, I started playing and beggar. I never left. I never left the first lineup. I played until being a top goal scorer in a season, 17 goals. Then for me, it was a great achievement. Every South African national team player will attest to the fact that playing outside the country, particularly elsewhere in Africa, is never easy. And Portia echoes the same sentiment. We are soldiers of this country. You know, most your parents let you go to present your country and wear those national team colors. It's not easy. You go to another country, you don't even know what is waiting for you there. Um, you go there, people they expect to go to probably go five star hotel, you know, umnandi, banyana banyana, go fresh. Only to find that more figure up about Fagge or Stella. A life a kai komnandi, young kintia chusa. But we just there and saying, ah man, yeah, figure Saturday, let's let's play and go home. This is not forever. Even they could treat us bad because, of course, when you go in Africa, they'll make your life difficult. It's not like you're gonna get there and bargain zero on Kentucky be smooth to go to your bad success. Hey, they will frustrate you. You are still frustrated, you're still traumatized, you can't even concentrate. So it, it was always difficult to play in a pand. Always more fear kaya in oral time. We always, you know, thank God, which at least I arrived. Home safely. Sometimes when flower money malo pre no bona ngati zo izo ya pezu very healthy food man juice on. 
There is not one country that South Africa didn't play against and conquered in Africa. Well, with an exception of one, the country that always gives South African football national teams a nightmare, be it male or female, and that country is Nigeria. I wish I was born in Nigeria. I'm 100% sure I was going to enjoy my career, and I probably was going to be respected with what the things I've achieved, you know? When I look at those players, I feel, I, I, always, I, I will always feel emotional and feel good. I wish I was among of these players. Because when, the, when you look at them, when you look at the way they play, their understanding of the field, it's like they always want to win. They know why they're here. They know why they're wearing these jays of the Nigerian colors. They used to respect me. I like that. I, I, I love the fact that when I was in the field, I was not just that player. I would say, ah, they'll put three people or two people on me. I, I used to enjoy that. So good Like, guys, you, you're wasting your formation and now you're sending McKillany three. And when I score against them, I'll be like, yeah, I told you, I'm playing against you. I'm the only one playing against you. And I'll always want to prove that point. And even them, they'll be like, I wish you could take you and play for our country, yes. Because you always give us a problem. Welcome back to A Tadeski. Poshia Mudise, our guest, didn't only score great goals, but I was thrilled with the way she celebrated those goals. The question is, is she teaching youngsters how to score goals? Is she making sure that the dime shines where she is? She may be a Porsche that we know as a goal poacher, a leader striker, but those who played with her know her as more than just a footballer, but a person like any other. Well, I met her many years ago. Uh, Porsche was still a young girl. Um, and she came into the team, was from the word go, very dynamic. She's, she's a very humble person. She's down to earth. She's a motivator. And she respects everybody. She was never afraid to express herself vocally on the field. One, two, three, four, five. If we must fight for money in the national team, I think with the struggle of transformation and the development of women's football, she's one person who's been re really vocal. Um, we are Kulmela and Bispazani. She talks about what happens in camp and just for equal treatment. She'd always be nagging me, come on, friend, please give us some more money. We need money, we need this, we need kit, we need that. She was always fighting for her teammates. Magato ya shega ngega stop it. Ya ushanya waki lo wutu zenza ma chokes ngami ge ngi west cause I'm thin and tall so ngizoba intanga dalanga yunga so so ngis kati kempi. Uposha tanu shega ni shego sa ke sinya nje usizo sa zela lete ni le so babat ma wenza ma chokes nje a uzozo ngoposha shega. But the bigger thing, the cooler my voice, I can show. I understand. So the voice lay out, 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 out. But you know, in mood, yes, you can be. Maga kona, we start with a opposition kona, and then we laugh because of the way I say ganga kona. There's this one thing that she does, and now I rata. Kya itza kwala, or itza kwala kai tu, and then we na otlo ya kwa pru, we le pay for. So yeah, that's basically what she does to get me all the time. It gave me tens. You know, that as a defender, I know this is what it used to do to me. As a defender, like, I would yearn to get that ball and just give it to her because I don't want to get the ball. I don't want to get the ball. I don't want to Mang it to school, like we are against an out more pom guaki, Manga Villa. Uzuba school now, Mugaco, Mang it to Uba school, Nishuguti, eh, Ugui Tandawak. Opposures tanda. Opposures tanda. So Masses and Makempini should be looking who's what I have a new back going at a bomb to a high in Gantanese, Makempini, never, you know? So that, that's Porsche for you. As a young game, Vasi Jonge Kariaka Poshia Young and Jinam Sanje. 
kuyamangalisa indlela ahonjiswe ngayo ngezincomo uqoqida ngamanye amaxesha nabadlali abangamadodana abangafikelelanga kumaphupha afana nala kapashini my first nominee uh, it was being a best player in africa competing being a best player in africa i think that's the most important thing that i wanted as a player being the best player in africa not only in south africa being the best player in africa be, being recognized in, in 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 africa not only in where i come from when Porsche took to the pitch for the first time in banyana banyana colors in 2000 little did she know that 14 years later, she would be reaching the biggest milestone that no one has ever reached, which is scoring more than 100 goals for the country, the first in Africa. I don't know if people really understand how much it meant to us before it meant to her, you know? Because at the time, we didn't realize that she was so shy of 100. But then the day we realized, we thought, you know what? Every goal that we want to score, it has to come from Portia the contribution from the players, the support from the players, because then it meant that would be the first, that would be the first woman in the continent. Akabane with the delivery. Modise, chase it down, Modise! 100 goals, 117 caps, try and beat that. It, it was not even about 100 goals. It was about me changing my life at home, you know? I felt like my struggle, they're gonna vanish. You know, my family will live better today. Even me, self, I'll walk proudly. Estradia knowing very well, good, I have a better place to, 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 to sleep. I think, yeah, that, that, that sports star of the year, it was not about only 100 goals. It was about a changing life of a soccer player. In women's football, it was a massive feat it showed a commitment because it, you have to be totally committed, dedicated, always focused on, on scoring and the game to get 100 goals. The experience that she has, no one has in this country, I believe. You know, she, she has contributed to South African football so much that she has also put us on the map. I mean, once upon a time she was in World 11, in the World 11 squad. That is something big for women across the globe. I hope even the ones that are, are coming up, if they talk about women's football, they'll be talking about to push. For me, those, that is the best moment ever for me. Kwa ku inda bange legends kambe azipeli, eo nandilu chaba njeli klesha. That's how we come to the end of the show today. When I can do my yens and jay, cows cousin of the Gandoni na, the Eta Diski, Abago SABC Sport, who's body like Instagram, Facebook, Nagu Twitter. Porsche Bashin, who they say? I know the Akvuma Saswam, Jonga, the Akuva, Lawe. Ha! No, I don't go. Uyingwenya Gaziam, you my true legend, and I salute.